Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. I'm Penny and this is Flynn the Cockatiel and in this week's Sims 4 Speed Build we are recreating the most repinned house on Pinterest. So perhaps you're like me, you're a builder, and you like to use Pinterest as a way to gather inspiration. I love Pinterest. I'm on there pretty often just to get the ideas flowing and get inspiration and one of the days I was on there I was thinking to myself, I wonder what the most popular house on Pinterest is. Like the most repinned house on Pinterest. So I decided to find out and that's what we're doing this week. And honestly, when I went to search to figure out the most repinned house, I had certain ideas in my head and I'm like, I might be getting myself into a lot of trouble. This might be like some gigantic, huge castle like house. Or I'm like, maybe it'll be like this tiny little cute thing. So we're kind of somewhere in between. So I don't have a intro for this week because uh, maybe you're like me and you like surprises. So I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. But if you can't wait till the end of the video, I did link the actual pin below so you can check out the most repinned house on Pinterest. At the end of the video, there's always pictures and video tour. So. If you want a little surprise, then you can just wait towards the end. All right, Flynn. <laughs> he doesn't want to wait. <laughs> but yeah, I... You really don't want to wait? You can wait. You can wait. Be patient. Wait till the end. <laughs> but yeah, so this, this house was interesting because, like I said, it wasn't quite what I was expecting, but... I guess this would be a perfect house for a Sims family, and obviously in real life this would be a great family house. <laughs> so it has, it only has three bedrooms, it has, I guess three three bathrooms? Two bathrooms. It has two, two full bathrooms, a pretty large laundry room, and I will say this was kind of a challenge to recreate. I did find a floor plan for this, so that helped out a lot to try to get things as accurate as possible. But for those of you that have done this before, if you take a floor plan, a real life floor plan, and then you try to translate it into The Sims, it can be difficult because our grid system, I don't think is based off of anything in real life. Not to my knowledge, at least. It'd be kind of cool if it was. I don't think it is. So it's not like, okay, a square is like three feet by three feet or like a meter by a meter. It's not that I know of. So it's very difficult to... It... Yeah, it is. It's very difficult <laughs> to recreate sometimes these floor plans. I think I did pretty good with this. I will say like <laughs> as things were coming together on the inside, I was realizing like, wow, okay, the kitchen and the living room and the dining room are probably a little bit too big. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> I feel like the sizing of the other rooms turned out really good. I don't know why the living room, the kitchen ended up being big. I, I think it works out really good. It's just a very spacious area, but I'm also thinking if this was real life, would there actually be that much space? I don't think so, so. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this is a nice spacious house. It took up like pretty much this whole lot. This is a 40 by 40 lot in Brindleton Bay. And I figured this house would fit perfectly into this neighborhood. Like the styling of it, you kind of saw the exterior. So I don't know, what do you think? This feels like a Brindleton Bay kind of house to me. I think it looks really nice in this neighborhood. And it did really work good on this lot. I pretty much took up the whole lot. I did some landscaping at the end and I think it looks really nice and definitely don't want to move it out of this spot. So I think this is its permanent home now. <laughs> yeah, so the kitchen. I like this kitchen. So this is kind of cool exploring like real life floor plans. So I included like closets and stuff in here. It's kind of a nice reminder of like the real life versus the Sims. I think a lot of our Sims houses, we don't necessarily think of putting in closets or storage areas. Sometimes I try to think about that, but I don't know. It's just, usually it's a space thing and there's not always space for closets. Cause I mean, 
in the US, I know for a room to be considered a bedroom, it has to have a closet. So <laughs> if that were the case in The Sims, yeah, we wouldn't have any bedrooms. <laughs> I don't know, is, is it different in other parts of the world? I'm kind of curious. If you're not from the US, let me know. I'm, I'm really, really curious. But yeah, that's something I know in the US, it's like you have to have a closet. Otherwise, if it's not a closet, you can consider it an office, but it's not a bedroom. Yeah, so we have this little pantry here, which I, I cut out like most of it just because it was so much time going through the catalog and trying to find stuff and it's a teeny tiny little place and I don't know that you're actually going to use it in the game. Maybe you could find a way to use it for something fun, but like real life, that would be awesome. I would love to have a walk-in pantry like that. That would be super cool. <laughs> I keep a lot of our stuff in our basement just because we don't have a very big kitchen so I keep everything in the basement but that works out too. Yeah, living room. This place had like built-in bookcases, which I think it looks really nice. Obviously, slightly different in the real version. Oh yeah, so that was cool too. I found that there was uh, actual pictures of the house in like several different instances of like real life, real life floor plan and like actually having furniture in it. So that was really cool to kind of see how the space was laid out, but it seems like the built-in bookcases were kind of part of the floor plan. I know certain things are included and then you can go and add and change things up. And I know this floor plan was able to be like flip-flopped and I saw one of them where the garage was pointing towards the other direction. So things are kind of flexible, but I tried to keep it as close as possible to the actual pinned photo of the house so when I looked at that photo a little bit better I could see like okay the garage is coming out towards the front versus maybe off to the side of the street and this lot would have worked well sorry as I was saying this lot would work well for <laughs> the driveway to come out either way because it's like on two roads yeah sorry I had to stop the video for a second because I heard some noise outside and it seriously freaked me out I don't actually know what's going on out there. I'm thinking it's probably landscaping stuff because now all of a sudden this week it is like 80 some degrees. The other day it was over 90 degrees and it's May. It's mid-May and this is crazy. I am totally okay with this. I've been wanting warm weather for so long. <laughs> if you watched last week's video, I did a beach house because I'm like, it is so cold. I'm so tired of the cold. I need to like go to a place in my mind where it's tropical and warm and I guess that's what I need to do and now the weather is awesome. <laughs> so yeah people are doing stuff outside and people are cutting the grass and yeah back to all that summer noise but yeah I don't know I just heard something and it freaked me out. I didn't see anything I think it's yeah <laughs> landscaping stuff yard work everyone's getting their grass sprayed yeah anyways <laughs> yeah so the dining room I was thinking I'm like is this too gigantic but then when I put in this bigger table I'm like no honestly it's not it just it looked like a huge space but I think I'm just not used to recreating dining rooms this big and I mean okay in the real life typical house not a lot of people have this big dining room Lynn why do you want to leave I, I know you want to see the end product, but you can be patient, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think the weather is also affecting him. He's I noticed he's got like slight change in mood. It's kind of strange how that works. I don't know. You're happy too? You just want to do stuff? You don't want to sit here? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Um. I put in a dog toy box and a setup for like dog food. I mean, I was imagining a dog here, but, and I almost put in two food bowls cause I'm like, you know what? This place is big enough that we could have a cat and a dog. You can totally do that. There's room. I didn't put any cat trees in and I didn't put any pet beds in. I have found when I go to play in game with pets, they never want to sleep on the pet beds. Like the dogs never sleep on the pet beds. So it's like, why? 
And then I can never figure out how to get them to like go towards that bed and sleep in that bed. I try to like train them in the game and it never seems like it works. I'm like, I forget it. <laughs> I guess it's more mainly for looks, but yeah, I don't know. We are in the office now and color wise, I will say I tried to do something that was more like homey and a lot of warm colors because I usually do cool colors. And I, it also made me realize that we don't have great warm colors in The Sims 4, which is kind of disappointing. I was trying to find more like warm blues, which is hard, I will say, because blue tends to be a cool color, but yeah, it was, I still ended up using some cool colors just because I feel like we're very limited in our warm colors and it's sad. Okay, I have to say something. So I put in that fish tank in the office and I never put in fish tanks. And I don't know why, because I think they're awesome. And I actually wish we had more in the game because some of the ones we have are kind of ugly, but this one, I feel like it worked out well in the office, but <laughs> so as <laughs> I have to tell a little story as I'm building this office area and I put the fish tank in and th there was room that I was planning on putting on like a putting a plant in the corner this just brought back like somewhat traumatic memories <laughs> from when I was a kid <laughs> and you're probably like what <laughs> so growing up we had a huge fish tank my mom loved having fish she had a so it's 75 gallon fish tank. It was, it was huge. So probably big like this one. And I always remember there being like, I think it was like a peace lily plant next to the fish tank for a very long time. And I just want to say like, whenever I like go back to my childhood, I'm like, I was probably like eight years old. I don't know why it's always eight. I was younger. So it was probably between like seven and 10. I remember playing over by the fish tank and for some reason, like I was near the plant and I looked in the plant and there was a dead fish or a fish in the plant. And I totally freaked out, totally freaked out. And I don't know why, but that was like so disgusting seeing a dead fish there. And on top of it, it was a Pocostomus. And I don't know. So if you're not a fish person, you're like, what, what the heck is that? So. <laughs> the Pilcostomus are the guys that like suck onto the side of the tank or like plants in the tank. They're algae eaters and yeah, so they'll be on the side of the glass. My mom had gotten this very special fish. It was a special Pilcostomus, like more of a rare type and it was like, I want to say it was like that big, maybe it was like, it, it's smaller. A lot of these get huge and this one stayed smaller and it had like these like bristly things all over its head so it's kind of funny looking and this was the fish that was in the plant yeah and i just i don't know why but that freaked me out so much and just thinking about it now like ugh. i don't know i like fish and i've had fish like i've had fish growing up i've had fish as an adult like this is the first time I haven't had fish in a long time. Like I've always had a betta for like forever. I always have a betta and I just never got another one when my last one died. And it's just Flynn, you don't have to be jealous. I don't have a fish anymore. Although Flynn did like the fish. They became buddies and he would go, <laughs> he would go say hi to the fish. It was kind of cute. <laughs> it was, it was super cute. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know. Going back to the, the I, I've kind of developed a fear of fish and I think it's because of that. And it's just, so I like, I cannot touch fish. I will freak out. I will totally freak out. And I never used to be like that. And I think until like that happened. So it's like, I can scoop them out with a net. I've had ones jump out on me and I'm like, I, I can't touch it. Like I have to get a net or like I used a piece of paper and like scooped it back in quick because I completely panic and freak out and I always wanted to work at a pet store but then I also thought I'm like if I end up being in the fish department like this was my dream job as a kid if I end up being in the fish department I am not going to be able to handle it and I'm going to be like screaming or freaking out and, 
It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. I don't know. I, it's, yeah. <laughs> and on top of like the one fish jumping out like into the plant, there were other fish that I would find dead fish behind the aquarium and then have to tell my mom. And yeah, I don't know what it is about. Ugh. Yeah, I, I can't even think about it anymore. It's just so gross. I'm weird. I'm, I'm so weird. <laughs> Anyways, getting back to the build, uh, we're doing a kid's room. So we have, like I said, we have three bedrooms. So I did one for maybe like an older, older kid. So maybe like three teens or hey, it works for a teenager, but I threw toys in there. I never used the dollhouse. And then I realized it's like, I never use all these fun kids things. So I'm like, yes, I'm doing something fun and I want this to be like a family house and make it feel like it's more lived in. So we have the fun game. I think that was with the kids room stuff. Like, I don't think I've ever used that like Pokemon type game ever. I'm like, yes, this is fun. I'm putting all this fun stuff in. So yeah, this was a good excuse for me to also experiment and get out of my comfort zone of everything being like so perfect. I need to work on that. Cause I mean, come on, kids rooms. How many kids rooms are perfect and clean? I mean, I didn't have a perfect clean room when I was a kid either. <laughs> but yeah, we are finally on the outside now and I faked the garage here. So I didn't include the actual like garage portion. So I will say in the garage later on, there are two cars, non working vehicles. I put some activities out there. Like I think there's a like the fizzy juice maker and there's a woodworking table and like flower making station and I tried to include like activities and there's a hot tub in the back. I just I wanted this to be a family house. But anyways I'm going to start to wrap things up because we are running out of time yeah, and don't forget to stick around uh, for the end because like I said you'll see pictures of the house and there's always video of the sims living their lives and so you can kind of see the house in the game i think that's kind of fun thank you so much for being here we appreciate you all and don't forget to give us a like subscribe turn on those notifications and we will see you all next week everyone bye